So tell me if this sounds familiar. You're working in Illustrator and all of a sudden it occurs to you that you've done the same thing like a million times before and you're like, why am I having to do this again? Like, this is crazy. The good news is that there's a feature in Illustrator that can save you a ton of time and that is called graphic styles. And graphic styles are basically shortcuts for creating effects in Illustrator. So you can make it once and never have to make it again. So let me show you how to build a simple graphic style so you can make your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a font. I'm just going to type something out. So I'm going to type champ. Make this bigger. And the first thing we want to do, or actually let me point you out, point something out to you first. There's two panels you're going to need to use while you do this. The appearance panel and the graphic styles panel. So the appearance panel is where you build your effect. The graphic style is where you save your effect. The first thing we'll do is we're going to go going to clear our canvas essentially. So we're going to get this black fill and we're going to get rid of that by clicking on the none button here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this little panel down here that has add new stroke, add new fill and effects, and we're going to add a fill. So I'm going to change the color of my fill. I'm going to change it to like a kind of mustardy yellow color. And I'm just going to start building up an effect here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a stroke. And I can easily drag these and change the order. So I'm putting the stroke behind the fill at this point. And now I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, just like that. Next, I'm going to round the corners on this stroke because I like the look of the rounded corners for this a little bit better. And already this is, this is essentially a style, but we can add even more with effects. So check this out. By going to effects, I can then go to something like, say, transform. And by putting in some simple values, I'll put in 0.5 for the horizontal and vertical move. If I push preview, you'll see it's slightly shifted and it's starting to look like it's kind of popping out a little bit, but it's really subtle. Watch what happens now when I add to the copies. I'm going to type in like 10 for the copies and watch what happens when it puts it in, when it actually runs this. All of a sudden, this is totally popping out, right? We've got this pretty cool looking style and we would never have to do this again. So now that we have this effect, all we have to do is we can press OK. And to save it to a graphic style, all you have to do is just drag it to graphic styles. And there it is right there. You can just click this to make it work. So let's say we got rid of this and we want to type another word like free hot dogs. Now all we have to do is we can just click on this graphic style. And just like that, the effect instantly happens on the type. I'm sure you can see how much time this can save you when you start using this on a regular basis. So start using graphic styles today and save yourself tons of time when you're working in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching.